Cassie and I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Michael Wall, who's been nicknamed the Blood Detective. That's this is for your ability to zero in on those health problems I try. <laughs> and find natural solutions. And Dr. Wall, you also hold several degrees and certifications, right. including board certification in nutrition. We have some questions that people have been sending us through email okay. on today's topic of medications and uh -huh. nutrition. Uh -huh. Okay, so Jonathan asks if he should worry about medications reacting with his vitamin yeah. pills and herbal supplements that he takes regularly. Yeah, Cassie, wow, this is so important. Uh, people, uh, I think, are doing the right thing. They're more uh, educated these days. They're taking nutritional supplements, and, and many of these same people are also on medications. And there are definitely nutrition-drug interactions to be weary of and avoid. So, for mm -hmm. example, if someone is on a blood thinner like uh, aspirin or coumadin, otherwise known as warfarin, these are you know, blood thinning mm -hmm. medications are very powerful. If one takes nutritional supplements that also have weaker effects on blood thinning, like vitamin C and, and vitamin E, just to name a couple of examples, ginkgo is another one. There's several herbs. There's dozens of nutrients that could potentiate the effects of that medication. And in that person, where you're really trying to very tightly control their blood thinning to clotting, you know, kind of ability, uh, you, you could cause excessive bleeding, and that could be horrifically uh, dangerous. And then there are milder interactions. For example, uh, if a person is on uh, the chem chemotherapy, methotrexate, or something called 5-FU, well, it was once thought that you avoid folic acid when you take those medications. But recently, it was found out that folic acid actually helps those medications work okay. better. So we have examples of how different um, drug nutrition interactions can be positive, or what they call synergistic, and then we can have inhibitory ones too, where you know if you're going to take your nutrients or you're going to take your medication, you do not want to interfere with with each other. So, it's really best to seek out the one-on-one uh, -on -one advice of a clinical nutritionist or a physician that that knows that area. There are websites, of course, that you can look at that give you some guidance, but it's very, very complicated. And then when you get into several drugs and several nutrients, it's not as easy to search those sites and figure that out. So it, it's a very, very important topic. Uh, we here, of course, are aware of many of the drug nutrient interactions, both positive ones and negative ones. And when we do not know the answer, we search it out. It's very, very important to do that. I ignoring it, it could be uh, catastrophic. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that, uh, and there are also, uh, this isn't part of this, this question, but it's related, there are food drug interactions as well. Oh. So, for example, grapefruits have an element in them called naringenin, and that binds or interferes with the um, metabolism of many, many drugs. So every pharmacist on the planet knows about grapefruits, and many of our listeners here know that grapefruits you want to avoid with, with many drugs mm -hmm. because it just interferes with the use of the drugs, but also can interfere with the use of many nutrients. So foods like fruits, like a, you know a, a, these uh, citric acid-containing fruits, they're supposed to be you know great for everyone, but the grapefruits in particular we need, we need to watch out for. Again, many, many examples of that. So you want to make sure that your doctor or nutritionist is aware of these interactions and using them to your advantage. Okay. One last thing before we close is that there are synergistic reactions, as I mentioned too, not just between nutrients and nutrients. Like, for example, in cancer therapy, using something called limonene with turmeric and resveratrol has much greater anti-cancer effects than even when you add up those three nutrients together. It's like a super additive benefit. And uh, there are many medications uh, for, for cancer therapy that they enhance their effects when a person would take these particular nutrients. So this, of course, depends on the type of cancer and the drugs and all that, that thing. So, yes, there are drug-nutrient interactions to be aware of. There are nutrient-nutrient nutrient interactions or food-nutrient interactions. Very important topic. We can't say much more about that because that has to be dealt with on a very individual basis with each person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a big Wonderful. One.